Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first look at the Everlast Power Lock 2 leather boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing an unboxing and first look at the Everlast Power Lock 2 leather boxing gloves. I got these from the team over at MSM Fight Shop, and uh, these are their newly released leather version of the Power Lock 2s. I previously did a review on the Power Lock 2s, which were the synthetic version, so uh, the newly released version of these, I got them in lace-up. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see how these look. Trusty knife right here. Crack this thing open. Careful not to tear these gloves because that would suck. So cut that open, put this knife to the side. So just like, just thankfully, I put a little piece of uh, cardboard there to kind of protect it. And here they are. I got them in all black. I believe they make them in, in uh, red, uh, white, and a couple of other colors. And I'm sure just like the original Power Locks. Eventually, they'll start making more colorways for this glove. Um, they do make them in both uh, lace-up and velcro closure in multiple sizes. I believe I got mine in 16 ounces. That's correct. So I got them in 16 ounces. That's the, the right glove and the left. So here they are. All black um, with a little bit of gray as the offset color. It does have that uh, Everlast tag right there. That's connected. The gloves are $99.99, so $100 uh, for these. And my first impression is they, they look similar to the original Power Locks. Uh, at least leather-wise, they look really similar. Um, probably the main key difference with this glove, um, just from the aesthetic, from looking at it, is going to be the lace-up system that they use right here. Um, obviously, it has these little uh, leather flaps that they introduced. Um, whether or not that helps with the support of the wrist, we'll find out. But that's probably the big noticeable thing there. Um, aside from the uh, little bit of change of design of the glove. Also, <clears throat> the wrist has a little bit more padding. Uh, that's more noticeable on the back of the wrist. So I'm gonna take the laces out. And that's the right glove. Again, I got these in 16 ounces. So uh, these would be a good all around training glove. That's kind of what the Power Locks are known for. Um, and it's probably one of their, their best selling gloves when it comes to Everlast's uh, pro boxing glove line, just because again, it's a good all around training glove that you can Used for sparring, uh, hitting the mitts, hitting the bag, and all those other things you can do in a boxing gym. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the laces. Um, just kind of give you guys an overview. The leather on here, again, is very similar, if not the same, as the original Power Locks. So in terms of the actual leather uh, being different or improved, I feel it's pretty much the same. Um, it does have a really nice thick feel to it. It does say Everlast on the back uh, right there. Um, it uses a multi-layer foam padding. Um, and just like the original Power Lux, it feels the same. It feels like it has maybe about a medium density. If they did change anything with the foam on the inside, um, you're not gonna obviously, obviously be able to see it. Um, probably when I start using these gloves is when I'm gonna be able to tell if there's any difference in terms of performance, which I hope there would be after having the Power Lux, the original Power Lux out for uh, quite a while right now. Uh, just like the original, it does say Power Lux right here on the thumb. You have the stitching right here that connects the thumb to the, the back of the glove. So that's really similar to the original. Um, the inside does have the grip bar, which is nice and large. The leather attached thumb, you do have ventilated holes, uh, which are different. It's kind of like a vertical ventilated hole on the outside of the palm, and then right there on the fingertip compartment. Uh, great piping and that unique lace-up system. So you can see it has uh, this little flap. So instead of uh, the laces um, connecting on one side and then kind of connecting to the piping on the other side, uh, this actually has almost like a how do you call it? It's almost like the the wrist section on here is overextended. So you can see that this top part overlaps on this inner wrist flap. So instead of them just meeting together like the originals and like most boxing gloves, you have one side meet, the other side hits right here with the piping and then the laces just go crisscross. This one actually has the inner part <clears throat> that tucks underneath and then this outside flap is what the laces go through. So you have this one for the lower part, closer to your, your wrist and your forearm, 
And then you have this upper part that's actually integrated into the thumb piping that has uh, the little three pieces right there. And that's all leather too, so that's good. It's not synthetic. Um, wrist support wise, you have, I'd say, about an inch of padding on the back of the wrist of medium to firm density padding. Um, you also have that little indentation that's a little recessed right there. Um, and then the inside of the wrist, I'd say it's about maybe a quarter of an inch of padding. Um, and the liner uses a, a satin nylon liner uh, on the inside that's supposed to be water repellent. Um, there are tags on the inside that say uh, designed, I'm not gonna be able to show this to you because it's pretty deep, designed in the USA and these are made in India. Um, and then it has a, a weight tag on there and maybe like a serial number. Uh, so these are made in India. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip my hands in here see how they feel. One thing I'll notice uh, right off the bat is that it's a pretty snug fit. So when you slide your hand in here, it does feel kind of snug right off the bat, uh, especially for a 16 ounce glove. It's pretty snug fitting. Um, the thumb feels really good. It has a nice long uh, deep thumb. Um, the hand compartment feels really good as well. Uh, finger finger compartment. The foam does feel a little stiff right off the bat. So there's definitely going to be a break in period here. Uh, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's just uh, the way these gloves are, but you can open and close your hand all the way. And as time goes on and you start using these more and more, this uh, leather and the foam will break in and kind of stretch out. Uh, but that definitely thumb feels really good. feels nice and deep. Uh, they do a pretty good job of covering the stitching on the finger compartment right there. Um, and the wrist definitely feels better than the originals. Um, I think the fact that they use um, this little over flap and uh, this lower section flap right here uh, basically gives it more of a tighter fit, almost like a sock. So essentially you're getting it to pull this over and you're also getting this piece right here to kind of pull in that way. So you're having this part that's next to the thumb and then you're also having this wrist section pull this over. And then this bottom under sleeve that's under the laces here just kind of tucks in underneath this piece. So you're getting uh, definitely a lot more wrist support than the original power locks, which I think um, just based on my first impressions is probably the biggest um, adjustment and uh, uh, newly, you know, I guess the technology that they really improved uh, from the original. So you have that. That's the right glove. Um, but you definitely have to loosen up the laces. It's not like a super soft, uh, flex flexible glove where you can just leave the laces kind of closed down and slide your hand right in. You do have to loose loosen up the laces on these gloves especially once you get hand wraps on. Um, they, these are gonna be definitely more on the snug side. So if you guys are looking for more of a snug fitting, kind of compact fitting glove, um, then this is definitely for you. My big concern with these gloves um, is gonna be for those of you that have bigger hands, kind of like fatter fingers, um, longer fingers. I think that's gonna be, um, be a pretty tight fitting glove and, and I can't remember if they make these larger than 16 ounces. I'm, I'm thinking they, they do or they will, um, but I can definitely see that potentially being uh, kind of uncomfortable for those of you that have larger hands because without hand wraps on right now, these already feel really snug on my hands. So that's probably my only concern. Um, you know, obviously it's a little stiff right off the bat. So there's a break-in period. Um, but other than that, I mean, the thumbs feel really good. Again, the finger compartment feels really nice and deep. This padding feels really nice and protective and well balanced. Um, I like the black and white, uh, black and gray colorway. It just has a little bit more of a subdued look to it. Uh, and I'm sure that Everlast uh, will come out with other versions of this. Uh, compared to the synthetic version, these are definitely better. I mean, that, that probably goes without saying just because the quality is nicer on these. The stitching looks cleaner and it just feels like a much better quality glove uh, than their synthetic version. So if it was me, I'd definitely fork out the extra, you know, 50 bucks or $40 and get the leather version rather than the synthetic just because it'll be much more durable. Um, but definitely breaking period there and the glove is more tighter fitting uh, is definitely some of the biggest takeaways from this aside from the new lace-up system that they use here. So if you guys have any questions or comments to make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box on where I purchased my Power Lock 2 leather boxing gloves. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.